Now at 8, three Valley foster moms want to make sure the state's most vulnerable kids have a safe place to go. So they're, they're creating the state's first community center just for foster children. And as Max Gordon explains tonight, they are asking for your help to make that happen. It's not the newest building. There is definitely a lot of stuff to do. But this trio of foster mothers hope they can transform this old church. It'll just be, I think, kind of like a Disneyland, for lack of a better word. And in the process, transform lives. They'll feel more at home. They'll feel more welcome and they'll feel more like they belong. Come January, this building will be the state's first community center just for foster children. It feels incredible to know that we can make such a big difference. The three moms have been helping foster parents with their organization called ASA Now and even helped pass a law two years ago easing access for foster care behavioral health services. We saw the need um, to do more. Now they have big plans with this labor of love. Music lessons, karate classes, and help with homework will all be available. And there's still lots of ways for you to help. ASA Now says they still need sponsors for rooms like this one to help pay for furnishings, and they also need four air conditioning units. And as these foster moms continue building their dream, a vision for what it might accomplish. A lot of children that are in this situation don't feel like they fit in anywhere. And here they'll be surrounded by people that have experienced the same experiences that they have experienced. A place where everyone can feel at home. In Mesa, Max Gordon, Arizona's family.